Sisters, the mother. It's the bail for us. Arya didn't think he'd really cut her tongue out. He was just saying that the way Pink Eye used to say he beat her up. All the time. She wasn't gonna try. Sandor Pugain was no Pink Eye. Pink Eye didn't cut people in half or hit them with axes. Not even with a flat of axes. <laughs> Tyrion. Tyrion, Sir Kevin Lannister said wearily, if you are indeed innocent of Joffrey's death, you should have no difficulty proving it a trail. Tyrion turned from the window. Who is to judge me? Justice belongs to the fair. The king is dead, but your father remains hand. Since it is his own son who stands accused, and his grandson who was the victim, his arse lord Tyrell, and Prince Oberon to sit in judgment with him. Tyrion was scarcely reassured. Mace Tyrell had been Joffrey's good father, however briefly. And the Red Viper was... well, a snake. Will I be allowed to demand trial by battle? I would not advise that. Why not? Did it save him in the veil? Oh, yeah. Why not here? Answer me, Uncle. Will I be allowed a trial by battle? And a champion to prove my innocence? Certainly, if that is your wish. However, you had best know that your sister must be named Sir Gregor Clegane as her champion in the event of such a trial. The bitch checks my moves before I make them. A pity she didn't choose a kettlebell. One would make short work of any of the three brothers, but the mountain that rides was a kettle of a different color. Damn it. I shall need to sleep on this. I need to sleep with Bron, and so he didn't want to think about what this was like to cost him. Bron had a lot of notion of what his skin was worth. Does Cersei have witnesses against me? More every day. Then I must have witnesses of my own. Tell me who you would have, and Sir Adam will send the watch to bring them to trial. I would sooner find them myself. You stand accused of regicide and kill the slain. Do you truly imagine that you will be allowed to come and go as you please? Sir Kevin waved at the table. You have still ink and parchment. Write the names of such witnesses as you require, and I shall do all in my power to produce them. You have my word as a Lannister. But you shall not leave this tower except to go to trial. Tyrion would not demean himself by begging. Will you permit my squire to come and go? The boy, Padrick Payne? Certainly, if that is your wish. I shall send him to you. Do so. Sooner would be better than later. And now would be better than sooner. He waddled to the writing table. But when he heard the door open, he turned back and said, Uncle? So Kevin paused. Yes? I did not do this. I wish I could believe that, Tyrion. When the door closed, Tyrion Lannister pulled himself up into the chair, sharpened a quill, and pulled a blank parchment. Who will speak for me? He dipped his quill in the ink pot. The sheet was still made when Patrick Payne appeared. Sometime later. My lord, the boy said. Tyrion put down the quill. Find Bran and bring him at once. Tell him there's gold in it, more gold than he's ever dreamed of. And see that you don't return without it. I need help. Yes, my lord. I mean, no, I, I won't. Return. He went. He had not returned by sunset, nor by moonrise. Tyrion fell asleep on the window seat, awake stiff and sore at dinner. The great man brought porridge and apples to bake his fast, with a horn of ale. He ate at the table the blank parchment before him. An hour later, the serving man returned to the bowl. Have you seen my squire? Tyrion asked him. The man shook his head. Sighing, he turned back to the table and dipped his quill again. Sansa, he wrote upon the parchment. He sat staring at the man, his teeth turned so hard they hurt. 
Assuming Joffrey had not simply choked to death on a bit of food, which even Tyrion found hard to swallow, Sansa must have poisoned him. Jock practically cut down the whole lot, and he'd given him a whole reason. Kill something. Any me. doubt that Tyrion might have had vanished when his wife did. One friend, one heart, one soul. His mouth twisted. She wasted no time proving how much those vows meant to her, did she? Well, what did you expect, dwarf? And yet, where would Sansa have gotten poison? He could not believe the girl had acted alone in this. Do I really want to find her? Would the judges believe that Tyrion's child girl had poisoned the king without her husband's knowledge? I would Burn, came Cersei back. would insist that they had no! done the deed together. I'm not Even so, he gave the parchment to his uncle the next day. So oh, it's a devil in fight. Lady Sansa is your only witness. I will think about right us in time. Oh. Best thing of now. The judges mean to begin the trial in three days now. That's too soon. You have me shut up here, under guard. How am I to find witnesses to my innocence? Your sisters had no difficulty finding witnesses to your guilt. Sir Kevin rolled up the parchment. Sir Adam has men hunting for your wife. Varys has offered a hundred stags for word of her whereabouts, and a hundred dragons for the girl herself. If the girl can be found, she will be found, and I shall Bitch. bring her to you. I see no harm in husband and wife sharing the same cell and giving comfort to one another. You are too kind. Have you seen my squire? I sent him to you yesterday. Did he not come? He came, Tyrion admitted, and then he went. I shall send him to you again. But it was the next morning before Podrick Payne returned. He stepped inside the room, hesitant, with fear written all over his face. Bronn came in behind him. The cell sword knight wore a jerkin studded with silver and a heavy riding cloak. With a pair of fine tool leather gloves thrust through his sword belt. One look at Bronn's face gave oh, Tyrion great. a queasy yeah. feeling in the pit of his stomach. It took oh. you long enough. The boy oh. begged. Oh, I, wow, I just door. got arched real hard. I am expecting a castle Stokeworth for supper. Two guys shot me like at the same time. Tyrion hopped from the bed. And pray, oh. what is oh. there for you oh. in Stokeworth? A bride. Oh, oh, no. a oh he is a buzz killer. I'm to wed lollies yeah. the day after next. Lollies. Bitch. Perfect. Bloody yeah. perfect. Get him, Jay. Sanders lack with daughter, yeah. a knightly husband, and a father of sorts, with a bastard in her belly. And Sir Bron of the Blackwater climbs another rung. It had Cersei's stinking fingers all over it. My bitch sister has said you're lame horse. The girl's dim-witted. Damn it, I was so close to this. If I wanted wits, I'd marry you. Lollies is big with another man's child. <laughs>